We too are to be zealous, eager, and excited about the things of God. Amen. We need to love what God loves and hate what God hates. And God hates sin. He doesn't hate the sinner, but he hates sin. So many people in these end times are trying to call wrong right. Amen. Well, that's wrong. If it's wrong, sin is wrong. If it's sin, call it sin. Let's look at Psalm 37, 7. 37, 37. God hates evil. And I'm looking at so many bills that are being passed and so much of what's going on in the government. And God hates all the evil that we see going on today. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we ought to hate it too, amen? amen? That's why we have to continually intercede for our nation, yeah. for our uh, politicians. Yeah. Psalm 37, 37. Mark the perfect man and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. The New Living Translation says, Look at those who are honest and good, for a wonderful future awaits those who love peace. See, the destiny of the righteous, the destiny of God's people is extremely better than the wicked. Amen? Amen. Well, I, I don't know about you, but I'm so glad I'm saved. Amen. Hallelujah. When we strive to live right, when we obey God and walk in love, when we are quick to forgive, we can live in peace. And don't let the devil try to rob you of your peace. Amen. Amen. I told you he tried to rob us this morning. Right. Amen. But he couldn't do it. We just called to the and they came out and changed the tire. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. When we do what's right, when we treat others right, we can sleep at night. Psalm 4 and 8, you don't have to turn there, says, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. Because I strive to live right, because I treat others with respect, at the end of the day, I can go to sleep at night. Amen. I don't have a guilty conscience about mistreating somebody. Mm -hmm. And even when I miss it, I'm going to call that person and apologize. Mm -hmm. I'm quick to apologize. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because Jesus has forgiven me of so much. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. That's why I praise him like I do. Y'all don't know what God set me free from. Amen? Amen. And you know what? He ain't even trying to remember. He said, I remember your sins no more. Amen? Amen. Then can I make a habit of not going to bed angry? Right. You know, before we got saved, we go to bed, he rolled on his eyes, rolled on mine. <laughs> but we make a habit now not to go to bed angry. That's and right. we use the word of God to settle any differences that we might have. Amen? Amen. And, and most of the time, I'm the one that's right. Y'all know that. But see, we find it in the word of God. Right. And God's word settles all arguments. <laughs> Glory be to God. And then we can go to sleep in peace. Amen? Because I'm always asking. God to show him something, to show him where he's missing it. But one day I was listening to God, and, and God, you know, God said to me, James ain't the problem. I said, well, who is? Uh -oh. Ain't nobody else. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Let's read Romans 5 and 1. Uh -oh. Romans 5 and 1. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Must be the bird, must be fidelity. Huh? Uh -oh. Oh, Romans 5 and 1. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Praise. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The Amplified says, Therefore, since we are justified, acquitted, declared righteous, and given a right standing with God through faith, let us grasp the fact that we have the peace of reconciliation to hold and to enjoy peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed One. Amen. Now the word peace in this verse means a state of being at peace and not at war. It's saying that there is no hostility between God and us. Amen. Amen. We've been reconciled back to God through Jesus Christ. Amen. We are the redeemed of the Lord. God ain't mad with us anymore. Amen. Right, Amen. Amen. We have a covenant of peace with God through Jesus Christ, the anointed one. And the good news is this covenant will never expire. Yep. It will never run out. Amen. It's forevermore. Give God some praise. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. <laughs> praise Jesus. And I have an announcement. I'm going to make it again later on. But you know me. I, when I know some things, I just have to tell it. 
And then I'm just going to tell it that today is Sister Cassandra's birthday. All right. Like that All right. birthday. Now, I'm not going to tell you that she's 64 years old. Oh, did I say that? Right? 64 years old today. Happy birthday to you. Amen. Happy birthday. Praise Jesus.